And I, too, thank you for being here. And I wish that I could say that canceling these latest oil leases came as a surprise, but it is no surprise at all. The day Joe Biden put his hand on the Bible and he was sworn in as president of the United States, he began this to destroy American energy. And it's just par for the course that uh, he continues this war on American energy. It's also par for the course for them to blame everybody except the White House and the president. They blame Democrats. They blame, uh, I mean, they blame Republicans. They blame Putin. They blame oil companies. But Americans that has been said here before at this podium, they know better. You know, as Senator Kennedy said, this is just the basic fundamentals of economics. A ninth grader can figure this out. And so many of us has, we've introduced legislation with real solutions that um, to address this. It's fallen on deaf ears. So it is purposely done. And uh, the Biden administration and the Democrats need to take this crisis seriously and stop finding every excuse in the book to uh, shrink energy production. And until this happens, every family and business in Mississippi and around this country will continue to pay the price of Biden's failed energy policies.